well, my interest in the future is the same as anyone else's, really, that it's really important to us as people uh, in everyday life. Uh, not just because of our children, but because we care about society and where it's going. What you teach children today in a school is what will be in the job market in 10 years. So many of our decisions are actually long term. Any decision we make, uh, any, any policy we have, is already anticipating the future. Uh, Foresight gives us a chance to do that more systematically. There is a big need uh, of our society to uh, design and, uh, the, and project the future, design the new narrative. Foresight can also be used asking citizens what future they want. Every citizen, every community has a different metaphor of the future, has a story about the future. So if I can find that story, I can link it to my forecast, then the data makes sense. We need to move uh, to a, a different level of how foresight is communicated. That can also contribute to have citizens more engaged with the future. Community foresight for social development and local development is gaining uh, much importance. Uh, why? Because it can facilitate civic engagement based on principles like direct democracy, transparency, openness and governance uh, in order to face the challenges that we are having uh, ahead. Because we're humans and we're conscious and sometimes we're a little arrogant, we think that we can influence or determine or colonize tomorrow and we think that we can possess the future. But I think that's only one way of thinking about the future. The crucial thing is that the, our future has become so un uncertain and fast changing. Mm -hmm. If you're not interested, you won't be, be able to prepare for what might be coming down the track. There's a lot of misconception. Foresight is reading a crystal ball. It's predicting the future. Um, but actually, what we try to make them understand is that really it's not about predicting the future. It's about uh, trying to understand what multiple futures exist, uh, depending on what kind of path we decide to take in the policy uh, spectrum today. So foresight can give uh, a vision to policymakers. So how is society feeling about certain things and how uh, certain things can develop so that they realize that the future is open and that different pathways are possible. It uses uh, what we call system thinking. So you can uh, clearly understand what are the links between different aspects of a problem. You can work across uh, different policies. And so I think this is a, a very powerful tool for, for um, uh, policy making. I think that's the strength of foresight in that it allows policymakers to have room to maneuver and to be flexible within uh, the logic and within the, the, the structure of a well thought out uh, set of futures. Policy impact for me would be about uh, giving away power to those who are affected by the policies. So it's very much uh, about you know, who's in power and who gets empowered to take part in the decisions. We've just completed a foresight study on where industry will be in, in 2025. And we've developed vision scenarios uh, for that. And, and that has now been adopted by DG Growth as their vision for the future in advanced manufacturing. And that for us is a big success. Foresight may help to go across the silos. Human software is designed in a way that we are thinking in the boxes. So when without breaking the barriers and without going out of those boxes, we will not be able to de design the, the narrative.